Hi, I'm Zenzale. Welcome to Zen Aesthetic. Please pardon the haze going on here. I am recording this on my phone using natural light and it's kind of, I don't know how to explain the way that the sun is coming in. So if um, it's making it seem a little weird and you're seeing like, you know, lint floating behind me, that is why. So I'm going to do a really quick August favorites video. Yes, I know it is September, but I still think it's not too late to do my August faves because September just started. Obviously, the last faves that I have would be for August. So if you want to see what my August faves were, are, are. If you want to see what my August faves are, keep watching. Uh, these are my favorite lip balms ever that I've been using for almost a year now. The ones that I have are re-releases, but the one that I had previously, um, I used that for a long time. And that is the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. These, like I said, are re-releases of their original uh, release of these. And I have them in the colors Goji and Spritz. Now, these Two shades look slightly similar, but they are different. Um, and I'll show you really quickly. But I just really wanted to talk about how amazing they make my lips feel, how moisturized and deeply hydrated uh, my lips feel after using these. And I wear them every day. I put them on after my morning skin routine and before bed at night. I feel like these are the only lip balms that actually make my lips feel softened. You know how sometimes you use lip balms and your lips feel great while it's on, but then when they're off, you go back to feeling dry and flaky again. So with this, I feel like it's actually improving the hydration of my lips, even when I'm not wearing it. So this one is Spritz. It's coming out a little bit. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's, that's Spritz. And this one is Goji. So see, they do look a lot alike, but I mean, I don't necessarily wear these for the appearance of them. It's very sheer. I'm wearing it now. Let me just put on a little bit more of the Goji. So you get a little bit of actual lip color. That's if you can even see it. But with these, it's about the feel. It feels so nice. It feels so good. It feels so comfortable. And I think that these are like about $10. I got them on the Naturium website, but I learned about them from Soko Glam. I keep one of these in my bag. I think the Goji one. And then the other one I just keep in the vanity in our bathroom. Because uh, like I said, this is part of my skincare routine. So if you're looking for a new lip balm or in the market to try a new lip balm or you haven't found a lip balm that you really like, check these out. Really, really, really nice. So for my second fave, I have been using the First Aid Beauty uh, Vitamin C Brightening Serum, 10%. That's what that looks like. And the only reason that I started using this is because I got a sample of it. I got like 10 packets uh, that came along with something that I ordered from Sephora a while ago. And I just was like, oh, let me try this. You know, I haven't used a uh, vitamin C serum since uh, Mad Hippie. And I like it. It's, it's a light, it's fast absorbing. It really does a great job of brightening and evening out texture. Um, I have been using it now for, I want to say like a couple of months. The jury is out on like whether I feel like it's absolutely necessary. I guess it depends on you. I just felt like trying a vitamin C serum and I think, I think it's really good. It's been working well for me. It's good for sensitive skin. It's been formulated for sensitive skin. Um, I don't have any irritation with it. I have oily skin, by the way. So I also really like this applicator, which like clicks up. And then if you just, at least for me, because I've, I've read reviews where people complained about the way that this dispenses. When I press on this just lightly, it just kind of 
deposits a small amount. It's a it's a watery consistency. Um, it absorbs really quickly into the skin. It gives a natural glow as well. I, I like it. It's definitely a favorite. I don't know if it's favorite enough for me to purchase again for 50 bucks. I guess what I'm saying is I don't know whether vitamin C is absolutely necessary for anyone. I used to go hard with vitamin C when I first got into skincare because I thought it was like a need, but that's because the first thing that I ever tried consistently that had anything to do with skincare was the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. And that, that stuff is amazing. Um, I would say that this is on par with that, but more expensive. <laughs> but I will say that since I've been using this, I haven't had any dark spots. My skin's been very even looking, very bright, nice, and firm and plump looking. So I have to guess that this is what's been making the difference because um, I only use about two or three other serums in my skincare routine. So this would be the fourth. Um, and yeah, I like it. It's definitely a part of my regimen right now. Jury's out on whether I'm going to repurchase it again. Like so my other favorite, uh, which will be obvious to you if you watch my channel regularly, is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop uh, Blurring Smooth Tint Stick. That is what that looks like. Definitely check out my first impression video uh, using this for the first time and comparing it to the original liquid skin tint, which I also love and have purchased repeatedly. Um, I am wearing this right now in the shade 19. Um, I've been wearing it every day since I reviewed it, as I said, <laughs> because it is so easy to use. The shade match was so great for me. I love the sort of soft matte finish of it. Very skin-like, very easy to use, like I said, and it's medium. It's light to medium buildable coverage. I've seen reviews of this, which I really enjoy watching reviews of the skin stick, where um, it's been used for beat look, like looks like full glam beats, face using this skin stick and natural like minimal very no makeup makeup like what I'm wearing right now. I love the versatility of it. This is what the shade 19 looks like. Right now I'm approaching just wanting things to be easy in life uh, as easy as can be and I still love wearing makeup even though I wear a lot less than I used to so this is just perfect perfect for the stage of uh, makeup that I have reached in my life right now. I absolutely definitely recommend this. It is probably one of my most all-time faves of my August faves. So for my next fave is a blush by of all beauty brands, Juvia's Place. And I say that because I haven't purchased anything from Juvia's Place in years. And I used to be a huge Juvia's Place eyeshadow stan. And I still think that their eyeshadows are amazing, but I don't do bright, bold, four, five color sequence eyeshadow looks anymore. So I haven't really dipped into uh, Juvia's Place makeup in a while and I ran into this shade at Ulta when I was looking for something else. This is uh, the Juvia's Place blush in Perky Poppy and you don't need very much of this. <laughs> Once you get this, if you love it, you probably will never replace it for like a year maybe more because it is so freaking pigmented and as you know with Juvia's Place if they do nothing else well they they got pigment down so let me just show you what the shade looks like so that is it and I'm just going to use that tiny tiny little bit on my cheek so you can see what I mean when I first purchased this and tried it, I probably used too much um, and I thought it wasn't really working out, but I recently used it a little bit more sparingly and I really, really like the way that it came out. I don't know if you can even see this. Yeah, that's about the amount that I would use on the regular. And I really think 
Again, if you've been watching my channel uh, for a while, you know that I have always had nerves about blush and it being too much and making it look, just having it look, having it make me look crazy. But I feel like liquid blush for me has been the best. I feel like I work with liquid blush on my face with the most comfort and ease. The only other liquid blush that I have tried is the Soft Pinch one by Rare Beauty, which I love. I'm dying to get another shade in that. But this Juvia's Place blush is, yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's seamless looking, it's soft, it's pigmented. You don't need a whole lot of it. Yeah, that is just so pretty. Yeah, so this was a surprise fave for me. Um, and I love it. So for my last fave is the fragrance by Burberry. Their latest is Burberry Goddess. This is an incredibly popular viral scent. And I forget where I heard about it, but when I learned about the vanilla notes, the vanilla heaviness in this, I was just like, let me try this. I went to Sephora and I sprayed it on myself. The notes on this, I need to explain, are very interesting. So the top note is vanilla and lavender. And I love the scent of lavender, but I couldn't really pick up that it was lavender. Don't know how to explain that. Don't know how else to say it, but I couldn't pick up that it was lavender. It didn't bother me, but it was, it was it's strong. When it dries down though, that is when the magic happens with Burberry Goddess. Um, let me just show you. I got the travel size, and as you can see, I'm already pretty much halfway <laughs> into it. I spray it on myself, even when I don't go out. So like I said, the top notes are vanilla and lavender, uh, cacao and ginger, which is, I, I, I've not heard those before. The middle note is vanilla caviar, and the base note is vanilla absolute. So it's vanilla, vanilla, vanilla all throughout. I smell it on myself all day. It does calm down. It's not super strong all day long or for hours, but I smell it on myself pretty much all day. People have also compared it to Kayali's Wedding Silk Santal, which I've also purchased in um, the smaller size. And this, is it has a vanilla like personality to it for sure and some say that these are very similar they are but i feel like this has more smokiness to it and this has more sweetness to it you know i just i just hope that no one is sick of this scent and they're just not saying anything about it <laughs> because I wear it every day. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. It's so good. It's so interesting, that top note of lavender, and then it almost seems like it, it transforms or shifts into all of the vanilla notes. I can't think of anything better than this. So if you like vanilla fragrance, definitely try this out. I will also say that this is the first ever scent that I have purchased from Burberry because I don't be looking to Burberry for nothing. <laughs> like I look up Burberry, I think of Burberry and I think of plaid and I think of London. And I just, after that, I just kind of drift off. <laughs> I, I'm here for the vanilla is all I'm saying, is what I'm saying. So again, this is the 30 mil travel size. I love it. It's got vanilla, 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 top, middle, bottom. Try it. If you love vanilla, you will absolutely love this scent. So for my last favorite, I wanted to talk about what I have been loving in streaming because I don't really watch television. Um, and it is Heartstopper season two. 
I started watching the first season when it came out. I think it was last year. I feel like we were coming out of this whole pandemic haze at the time, which is very complicated for a lot of people, depending on who you talk to. And it was just one of those shows that made me so happy and filled me with so much joy and smiles. It's so hopeful and so positive and so inclusive. Um, and season two, amazing, just as amazing. I don't have a favorite between the two seasons. I have watched both seasons already. <laughs> several times. So really quickly, it is based on the graphic novel by Alice Oseman, which I haven't read as yet. And it, it follows the love story, the queer love story between Nick Nelson and Charlie Spring, played by Joe Locke and Kit Connor. Amazing performances, amazing performances by literally everyone on this show. And I love the teachers. I love uh, Mr. Ajay. I love Mr. Farouk. I love the rugby coach. It's just really, really good. For me, one of my favorite things about it is seeing young men uh, embrace vulnerability and um, just be loving and kind to one another. And let's face it, like I'm a big old sap. I love a love story and it is a love story and it is performed so genuinely, authentically and beautifully by Joe Locke and Kit Connor. I am in love with them being in love. And it's just, like I said, it's very uplifting. If I'm feeling just the way that one can feel in life sometimes and life can be chaotic and there's so much negativity in the world right now. I turn on Heartstopper and for the time that I'm watching it, just, just happiness, just happiness. It's always gonna end well, always wonderful things gonna happen. So if you need something that is just warming and a pick me up and it's, it's it's deep, but it's also light. I definitely would recommend Heartstopper. Definitely start with the first season, of course. Um, and yeah, that is that's basically it for me and my August faves. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you enjoy content like this. Um, also click on the thumbs up button again. I know I said like, share, and subscribe, but I also have to remind you again to click on the thumbs up button if you like this video. And I hope to see you in my next one soon. Bye.